Okay, so next we will prove that if a topological space is second countable then it is separable so proof let x be a separate or second countable space then it has a countable basis and we can construct a subset D of the space X so that it contains exactly one point from each basis element Then the cardinality of the set D is the same as the cardinality of the basis, which is countable. Further, since every non empty open subset U of X is a union of some basis elements we have that the intersection of the set D with every non-empty open subset U is not empty That is, the subset D of the space X is a countable, dense subset of the space X, and therefore the space X is separable. Now the converse of this theorem is not necessarily true. But as we will see, the converse is true for a special class of topological spaces known as metric spaces. However, the contrapositive of the theorem is an equivalent statement. If a space is not separable, then it is not second countable. Okay, so we're going to begin to look at the uh, order topology on the rationals and irrational, uh, rather, uh, reals.
And so we need to define what we mean specifically by the rational numbers. The set of rational numbers is the set, which we denote by an ornate or blackboard bold letter Q. And this is the set of all ratios, M over N, where M and N are integers, and the integer N is not zero. Where? For two rational numbers, A over B and C over D, the two rational numbers are equal if and only if the product A times D is equal to the product B times C. So notice that the rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed as a ratio of integers and notice that the rational number negative 2 over 3 is the same as the rational number 2 over negative 3 since the product negative 2 times negative 3 is the same as the product 2 times 3 Further, the set of integers is the set of the numbers m over n in the set of the rational numbers such that m is any integer and n is the integer 1. And so the set of integers is a subset of the set of rationals. So next we will show that the set of integers is countably infinite. So proof. Let the function f from the set of integers into the set of positive integers be defined by f of n is 2 times n plus 1 if n is greater than or equal to 0 and negative 2 times n if n is less than 0. We will show that this function is an injection so we consider two cases for M and N being non-negative integers suppose that f of m is equal to f of n, then we have that 2 times m plus 1 is equal to 2 times n plus 1, so that 2 times m is equal to 2 times n, and so m is equal to n. And for every pair of negative integers, suppose that f of m is equal to f of n, 
then negative 2 times m is equal to negative 2 times n, so that m is equal to n. So in either case, if f of m is equal to f of n, then m is equal to n, and hence the function f, which is a function from the set of integers into the set of positive integers, is an injection. And thus, the set of integers is countable. Now, as the set of integers is not finite, it is countably infinite. Okay, so next we will show that the set of rational numbers is countably infinite. So proof, since m over negative n is the same as negative m over n for any integers m and n such that n is not equal to zero, we have that for every rational number q, that rational number q can be expressed or is equal to m over n, where m is a integer and n is a positive integer. So let the function f, which is a map from the Cartesian product of the integers with the positive integers into the set of rationals, be defined by f of the ordered pair m n is the ratio m over n. Then, for every rational number q, there exists an ordered pair m n in the Cartesian product of the integers with the positive integers, such that that rational number q is equal to f of the ordered pair m n and hence the function f, which is a map from the Cartesian product of the integers with the positive integers into the rationals, is a surjection. Now since the Cartesian product of the integers with the positive integers is a finite product. Of countable sets. It is countable. And so there exists a surjection. which we'll call G, mapping the set of positive integers onto the Cartesian product of the integers with the positive integers. And hence the composition F of G, which is a map from the set of positive integers onto the set Q of rational numbers is a surjection. And thus, the set of rationals is countable. And as the set of rationals is not finite, 
it is countably infinite. All right, so next we will show that the integers together with the relation less than is a simply ordered set. So proof. For every pair of rational numbers, P and Q, such that P is not equal to Q, either P is less than Q or Q is less than P. And so the relation less than is a total ordering. On the set of rationals, And for every rational number q, q is not less than itself. And so the relation less than is irreflexive. And for every three rational numbers, p, q, and r, If P is less than Q and Q is less than R, then P is less than R. And so the relation less than is transitive. And hence the relation less than is a simple ordering. on the, uh, the set of rationals, and therefore the set of rationals together with the relation less than is a simply ordered set. And so as it is a simply ordered set, we can define the uh, order topology. Now clearly, The set of rationals has neither a least element nor a greatest element. Further, the rationals is neither bounded below nor bounded above. So a basis for the order topology on the set of rationals is the set script B consisting of open intervals from A to B where A and B are rational numbers.